Since today is my dad's birthday, I thought it would only be fitting to put a new spin on one of his most classic recipes, Sal's salad. This cucumber salad is cool, refreshing, and hopefully will become a go-to recipe in your household as well. So let's get started. Here's what you're going to need. One cucumber, one heirloom tomato, a handful of flat leaf parsley, fresh mint, one small onion, extra virgin olive oil, one whole lemon, ground sumac, salt, and cumin. To start my recipe, I prepare my salad dressing. I do this by juicing my entire lemon into a small jar. Next, I add an equal part extra virgin olive oil to the juice. Now it's time to add my spices. I add about three pinches of salt, two pinches of cumin, and two pinches of ground sumac. To finish, I add the lid to my jar and give my dressing a good healthy shake. I place the jar in the fridge and let it marinate while I prepare the rest of my salad. I start by peeling the skin from my cucumber. Since this was quite a big cucumber, I slice it into pieces to make this job a little bit easier. Once I finished, I cut my cucumber down the middle and then slice it into bite-sized pieces. Next, I prepare my tomato by removing the tough center and cutting it into chunks. I add my tomato to the bowl with my cucumber. And now it's time for my flat leaf parsley. I take a good size handful off the bunch and give it a fine chop. I add this to my bowl as well. Next, I peel my onion and cut it into thin half circle slices. This, of course, goes into my bowl. My last addition is my fresh mint. I take a small handful of mint leaves and place them on my cutting board. I give them the same fine chop as my parsley and then add them to the rest of my ingredients. To finish it all off, I pour my homemade dressing onto my mixture and toss the salad together. And that's it. As with most things in life, this salad is absolutely perfect when served with a baguette and is a lovely addition to any night's dinner. So happy birthday, Dad, and I hope you don't get too upset about how much liberty I took with your precious ingredients. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you all soon with another CSA-inspired recipe.